Hey guys, you have an awesome book uh, this week that you are going to be reading. It is an information book called Festivals of the World. And you are going to be studying two main festivals, Diwali and Vesak. And our skill, comprehension skill that we're going to be working on is compare and contrast. Compare meaning what is the same, contrast meaning what is different. So your main job is going to be to learn about these two festivals and find out things that are the same between them and things that are different. So I would like to start off for us to go to pages two and three. I am going to read this page out loud. I would like you to look in your book and follow along and listen while I read. So here we go. Introduction. Around the world, people have different festivals. One of these festivals is called Diwali. Another is called Visak. In some ways, Diwali and Visak are similar. They both take place on special days. They both have things that groups of people always do the same way, or customs. However, Diwali and Visak do not have the same customs. The meanings of the two festivals are also different. And on page two, we see a picture with a caption, This man and woman are cleaning a statue to prepare for Visak. And on page three, the picture caption says, This woman is lighting oil lamps to prepare for Diwali. One of the bold words we saw on this page was customs. And it told us in the text what that meant, um, but it is also found in the glossary. Customs are uh, things that groups of people always do the same. So we could say that for people who celebrate Christmas, one of the customs is to get a tree to put gifts underneath. All right, your first job right now is I want you to read to yourselves pages four and five. And then when everyone's done, I want you to discuss what are things you found out about Diwali and Visek that are the same, and what are some things you found out about them that are different. Discuss those and come back to the video. But for now, push pause. All right, you guys, we are back. So looking at those pages, what did you learn that was the same about Diwali and Visek? I found three things that uh, were the same. Both were festivals that began in India. Both were festivals that began a long time ago. And both are festivals that have now spread to other countries. Some differences is that they have different names in different places. For example, Diwali is celebrated in Singapore and Nepal. So, in Singapore, Diwali is known as Deepavali, and in Nepal, it's known as Taihar. Visak is also celebrated in India and Nepal, but also in Sri Lanka and Malaysia and in Indonesia and in China. So, Visak is the name that's used in Sri Lanka and Malaysia, but in India and Nepal, Visak is pronounced or is known as Buddha Purnima. In Indonesia, it is called Waisak. And in China, the holiday is called Fo Dan. So your job for the rest of today is to read this book on your own. It's going to be a long read, but it's a really interesting read. And then I want you guys to work together as a group to go through page by page and discuss what are some things that are the same between these two festivals and what are some things that are different. Happy reading.